Welcome to another DigitalLifestyle.com video show and now I'm going to have a look at the DMA2200 from Linksys, the Media Centre Extender and you may have seen the previous video of the 2100 this is the 2200 with the built-in DVD player so I've just disconnected my 2100 and in its place I'm going to set the 2200 up so first thing let's unbox this unit Let's have to see what's in here. We have got a DVD with the installation software and user guide. I'm going to have a look at what's on this because I didn't look at 2000 but uh, I don't see what software you actually need because all the media center software is obviously included. There was an update when I installed the 2100 that I needed to apply the Media Center PC. You can check the other video for details on that. Okay, so we've got a remote control which looks identical to the 2100 remote. I'm just going to check to remotes. Yeah, it's identical, so I'm actually going to use the other one as soon as it's out already. Ethernet cable. Power cable. Now, this is the first difference, it's not a power. Adapter like 2100. This is a power cable. A European power cable. Component video cable. And it, no audio cable as there was on the uh, coaxial audio cables was with the 2100. Three aerials instead of the two, another unit. Ah, more cables. SCART cable. And the, the other unit had an adapter for the composite cable to make it SCART, but not the component, so that's probably a better cable. And there was no, there's no SCART socket on the back of the 2100, but there is on the back of 2200. You've got the audio cables and some more audio cables. And another power cable. Uh, manual. And the media center extender. Nicely wrapped. Protected as well with these so through these end pieces. Okay, so there we have the twenty two hundred. Here's the 2100 on top of that, and a comparison to the Xbox 360 remote. You see those together like that. You can see how bigger, much bigger it is. Okay, so let's have a look at the back of the unit now. Let me do this so I can see it. I nearly dropped it. We've got. Um, okay, come around this way a bit. There we go. So we've got power. Sockets, reset, HDMI, three aerial ports, there's only two under 2100, SCART, a composite, a, so an S video, so these are your kind of standard DEF cables. We've got um, your component video, your RGB component video, so this is, good, this is the best, apart from going HDMI, this is the best way of going onto it. We've got stereo output, we've got coaxial opti um, digital output. An optical, which is what I use on my 360, and uh, we've got a uh, network, which is a 10100 port, and there is a USB port, as there is on the 2100, but I think this is used for like firmware updates. And it's not something that's accessible to the uh, to the user. Okay, so let's put the aerial in and then connect this unit up. OK, 
Okay, so I've got the unit connected up now. I'm going to power it on uh, from the back here. So I've got it connected up here. So I'm going to pan the camera up so we can see my TV. We're connected up by HDMI now. Um, I'm not going to bother with the sound just yet. We'll leave that on standard. So let's power the unit on. Okay, we've got a green light and a please wait, actually. I should... Perhaps I can show you that before it goes off. I don't know whether I can, actually. I'm going to show you that in a minute because I want to see how long this takes. So it still says please wait. The explanation mark has gone off on please wait. I have no network cable in, I'm going to do this by the wireless. This is coming up next. Ah, there we go. Right, so what we've got here is actually, it looks like exactly the same screen as connecting up the 2100. So let's flick through that now. I'm just going to take that info off. Well, this looks better screen to me, I don't know. So it looks like English. Next. HDMI detected. Next. I'm going to go surround. Next. I'm going to go wireless. Next. It's going to search for the wireless network. And then, okay, it's found that wireless network. Next, I'm going to put the key in now. Yeah. Let's do the association now. So this is the same thing as I did on the other one, I need to go into the code on the other on the Media Center PC. Right, Media Center is just starting up now. So what we've got here looks exactly the same as the as the twenty one hundred. So let's have a play with that now. The L C D Display on the front, just move the camera down in a minute. That's actually gone off now. Okay, so there we have some live TV. Let's go into recorded TV. We'll just check, we're running in 1080i, 50 hertz. And this is using the wireless network as well. 